Hey everybody, this is Intro, and today we're going to be going over the netstat slash A and O uh, command that shows you everything that's happening on your computer, all of the processes running, and will show you established connections that aren't supposed to be there, such as viruses or hackers or anything that's on your computer that's running in your background that you don't want to be ran. So, what we're going to do is type in netstat minus sign A and O. This might take a second, it shouldn't though. So, once this loads, what we're going to get is a huge list of different addresses. And what we're going to be looking for are the state, is the state of the address. So, listening is fine, but established means that somebody has established a permanent connection with your computer. And we're going to want to find out what that is. So, it might not always be a bad thing. Um, it could be anything. So, what we're going to look for is again on this established address look it for the uh, PID number right here as I wrote it down right here on my notepad and what we're gonna do is look for it in our task manager so right click on your taskbar go to task manager once that loads you're gonna wanna go to details under details what we'll see is the PID again um, listed right here after the name of the actual application so we're going to look for that 2136 PID number and see what process is running that that PID. So let's see here. Must have passed it. Um Okay, so we found it. It's right here. It's uh, my actual um, explorer. So this is something that I wouldn't have to worry about um, being a vulnerability to my computer. It's just the um, web explorer that's popped up and that has no relation to actual viruses. If it were something that looked like... Um, um, let's see. Okay, so I don't have any right now. But if it were something that looked like this and it said com surrogate or like this, then that would be something that you'd want to click on and then click end task. And in your um, antivirus software, I'd go through and actually exclude that program or exclude that or not exclude it, but um, deny it access. So you can take the the name of the program and in your antivirus software exclude that from the network from ever connecting again and blocking it so that's how you do um, check your network and see if there's any established connections on there or any viruses running on your computer if there isn't you should be fine if there is do what I said and go into your virus software and make sure that you make it blocked so that that program cannot access your computer another thing I do is if it's an actual program Go to the control panel and just hurry up and uninstall the program. If you don't know how, just go to uninstall the program. Look for your program in the name list and then uninstall it. That's all I wanted to show you guys today. And thank you for watching and have a good day.